Automatrix M-Track theft recovery operation. It's Tuesday the 21st of April 2020. So we took a call yesterday from a plant hire company. One of their customers had had a pedestrian roller stolen. It's a Terex roller. Um, worth about seven to 12,000 pounds, depending on condition. So we sent a signal to the Automatrix M-Track to put that in alarm. It was stolen from Gleneath in South Wales and the cell site that we got later on in the afternoon was reporting at Merthyr Tydfil. Uh, we tried to get a GPS position for sort of half an hour for 45 minutes and there's no GPS position coming through. So what we said to the customer was we would um, come up and do a radio find today, this morning. So we've left this morning around about quarter to six this morning from Southampton. It's about a 200 mile journey and we're just crossing now the uh, bridge across from England to Wales and we've got about 45 miles to go to get to that location. Uh, Merthyr of Tidville, we've been there before, there's, it's in a valley in uh, South Wales and there's uh, limit, limited access on the mobile platform. Okay, so we've got a lovely spring sunny morning, not expecting any rain today so that's quite good for the UK in springtime. Uh, we're in the fourth week of this COVID-19 lockdown here in the UK, so only essential travel is allowed at the moment and uh, theft recovery is deemed essential, especially for our customers. So we will get full support from the police. South Wales Police will uh, need to come and be in attendance unless we find the um, pedestrian roller sort of in a lay-by or something like that. So what we've heard from this client is that um, it's not just a pedestrian roller that was stolen, that was actually on a trailer on the back of a transit van and they, they took the whole van. So they've taken the transit van and they've taken the pedestrian roller with it. So there's no tracker in the uh, van as far as we know. Um, so we've just got our Automatrix M track tracking system in the pedestrian roller and obviously we've got that signal live so we're hoping to find the pedestrian roller today but it will be a real bonus if we can find the the stolen transit van for the customer as well because um, that's probably worth a little bit more than the pedestrian roller you know uh, I think it's on a 63 plate so six or seven years old it's probably probably worth about 10 or 11 thousand pound this transit um, I think it's a pickup van as well so they can be a, worth a bit more right so we're going to pull into this lay-by here put the roof antenna on about three miles to go okay so that's the roof antenna on to pick up the rf signal nothing being picked up here at the moment one good thing about being in wales is probably we won't get too much distortion on the radio signal so right let's get going Industrial park to the left. Do we check out the industrial park? No, we carry on going. Hoover factory. Huh. Right, so what we do is we drive up to the cell site location and then cut double back and check that industrial yard there. Right. So still not picked up the RF yet and we're sort of going around these back streets now uh, just outside Merthyr Tidville but it looks like we're going to have to go up to the top of this hill here and see if we can get a signal from up that location. We have got on to the, the main cell um, but then you're sort of in and out um, in and out of oh, I've just got a text message through let's just hear it. <laughs> GPS and background on X120 will try get it on map page X. Oh, brilliant. Okay, so um, while I've been out on this find, we've ju just had an email from another plant hire company um, saying that they've had a Takuchi TB230 stolen near Sheffield. 
and that text message just came through there to say we've got a GPS in the background. So hopefully we won't have to go up to a Sheffield to do an RF find, but if we do, we will do. Um, we'll head there from here or get a local finder, see what's going on, but hopefully they get a GPS. Still, we've got to find this pedestrian roller here at Merthyr and um, we'll, we'll try up, up the valley a bit further. Up onto the top of the hill and we're trying to get an RF at this location but nothing received at the moment. So what we're doing is we're going to take some cell site locations up here and just check the RSSIs and then just see if we can get on the on the same mast that we have for the stolen Terex. Okay so just looking at a map that we've printed out of Merthyr Tidville and um, in looking at it the the strongest signal I've got sort of from this industrial estate here but there's no well I say signal that's the strongest phone mast signal is from this industrial estate here but there's no RF in there so and then we went up to the retail out, outlet where the Super Bowl was 55 on the RSSI there's good but nothing there no signal there no signal there so what we're going to do is jump over to these residential area here and look down these streets here so we got Clare Street so that's quite close We've not been round there, so we're going to take a drive through these streets here, see if we can pick up the signal. Okay, um, that piece isn't for us, but um, I parked up in the middle of Merthyr Tidville. Um, we lost the signal around about half past ten, so we would, that's the mobile signal we lost. Um, so driving around, trying to find the RF, and then uh, the mobile signal went off. So we think, oh, uh, have they moved it, or have they discovered the track, or what have they done? So um, we've literally just grabbed some lunch and uh, the tracker has reconnected, which is good, but it's on a different phone mast. It's, not, it's in the same sort of location, so it could be um, struggling to connect or it could be that they have actually moved. So uh, hopefully this, this, this new postcode will give us a new search area because we haven't had much joy up to now. Uh, apart from the fact it's a nice sunny day, um, it's... Uh, not going too well at the moment, but we we'll just we we'll just go to this new po postcode and um, check out if we can pick up the RF. Mm. I don't know whether this asset's moved or not, but certainly it's on a different phone mast location. And I pulled back uh, just a while ago. We've come south of Merthyr Tidville on the main um, 470, A470. And um, I've been stopping in laybys and pinging the unit, uh, the unit in the car to try and map um, and during that process, I, I did an update on the uh, Terex pedestrian roller tracker and it gave us four phone masks. And I've only ever been on one, so uh, the fact we've got four phone masks is going to make our life a lot easier. Um, and since I've been travelling south on the A470, I've managed to line up with three of them. So I'm definitely heading in the right direction, but there's no towns or anything on this main road. It's like a dual carriageway. So I'm going to have to double back uh, up and down this valley um, it could be at Aberfan, that's where I think the next target is. So we're starting to home in on it now, should pick up the signal soon. So we just got off the main dual carriageway and we're now in the, in the bottom of the, well we're at the top of the valley but it's a smaller road. About two miles to go to go to that Aberfan. just the benefit of coming to South Wales. This is a shortcut to the next cell but I thought I'd stop and uh, have a quick look. Uh, not bad. Yeah, you can see the bridge now. So I just thought while well, I was at the top of this Abavan cemetery I'd just show you guys a bit of South Wales in springtime. Just have a little look at the Remembrance Garden. Pretty gorgeous. There's plenty of headstones. Probably all the Welsh soldiers. The first and next. Pretty amazing.
the one it's in. Okay, still in Merthyr Tydville. It's uh, 3.25 in the morning. So yeah, been here ages uh, driving around and I have now got the RF guaranteed. Um, but it's off the beaten track and I'm gonna have to get the police to help me go through there. I can't go through and identify the machine without the police being there. It's just too dodgy. So it's just uh, around the corner under a bridge. And then, um, so I'm gonna give the police a call, see if I can get them here to go in with me. So we've uh, come to this location and there's a yard around the back and uh, signals coming out of the yard, but obviously it's all locked. So the police are gonna see if they can find, knock someone up to see if we can go inside the back of this yard here. But it's uh, quarter to five in the morning, so it's still a bit early. It's a separate yard. Yeah, they're separate yards, but they're, they're all, all, it's all end of the forge workshops. That one's got loads of build, so where the green containers are, yeah. it might actually even be in one in that container. It could be, but we can't break into it. No. Furthest up from me. But we're going to have to follow up in the morning, I think, because... Um, they're not answering the address, there's no way we can really force our way through, to be honest. I can't even see those bloody dogs, what are they, two hours? Quite big to be fair, behind those great, I think they're Alsatians. Okay, so it's about 10 to 5 in the morning. Um, the police are not going to break into that yard. Um, they said they're going to send someone in the morning. So it's, it's 5 o'clock in the morning, that's the morning as far as I'm concerned. Um, but they're... I told them the, the yard it was in, um, pointed it out with the RF 100% and they said, no, we're not going in until it's daylight and we can knock a few doors or something. So um, plan is get Ed down for two hours and then uh, call a specialist police unit and maybe we'll get back in and get this uh, Terex roller. What a job this has been. Absolute nightmare. Hey, we like a challenge. Let's go for it. Okay, this was the uh, car park round the back here that I first picked up the RF signal by just coming to this corner and then pointing over in this direction where the roof antenna picked up the signal straight ahead of me there. And then uh, there's a main A470 road down there. And then, uh, so it looks peaceful enough this morning. We're still waiting for the police to come back. Okay, so it's 8.12. 8, I've just taken a call from an uh, investigating officer who said that there's going to be a police officer pulling up any minute and then uh, we'll drive down this road to the industrial yard take a look inside hopefully um, it might still be locked up so in which case I don't know what what his uh, plan is maybe he's going to grind the padlock off or maybe they're going to look for a warrant or they're just going to try and call the person who owns this yard something like that some intelligence they might have some intelligence or something There was uh, there was no there was no one uh, there was no one at this yard, so all we had was a few dogs and stuff. And owner's coming to meet us. Lovely. That's what we like. Did you speak to the owner then, or? Yeah. Oh, that's good. I threw that bloke's phone. Ah, oh, brilliant. That so, bloke knew him. Yeah, he owns one. All these are owned by different people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good idea then, asking a dog walker. No, yeah, always got to ask in the valleys. <laughs> in the valleys, it always pays off to ask a couple of people. <laughs> so what we've got now is a specialist plant unit. Turned up, they want to do a full search in this area. So we've got another, another police squad, squad vehicle. And apparently there's some coming up from Swansea. Motor, he's uh, our examiner. All right. We've had it. All right. You are, but you go with him. You go with him. does. All that for that. Hey, there you go. 
<laughs> yeah, no, it works, uh, yeah. This was taken with the uh, transit, with the transit yeah. double cab. <laughs> I don't know whether that's the trailer. Just put it all up and see. You're going to take it for forensics or not? It's been out in the f***ing hell of it or something now. Huh? It hasn't rained. <laughs> Well, no, this isn't a company, this is just uh, a tracking Yeah, but they're, they're, they're close by. No, don't touch it. No, don't touch it. No, don't touch it. No, touch it. No, touch it. Yeah, we'll wait till he's had a look. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Twenty-three hours for that. God and Bennett and the ferret. <laughs> Keys are still in there. <laughs> yeah. It's been uh, the tracker company of tracked all the way up here. They're just leaving now. Leave the boys to tidy up. They're going to take that roller away. They're not going to do any uh, forensics. Don't know why. So it's not worth it. The rest of the kit in that yard was pretty kosher, I think. So the, the digger and the trailer came back legit. Um, so I, I think that sort of helped their story sort of thing. And then they gave them the benefit of the doubt. What did he say to the police, sir? Is, is that he's hired the roller or what? Or? He said, um, basically, um, he couldn't he couldn't hire a roller from anywhere so because all, all the plant eye companies are shut down because of COVID-19 he couldn't hire one so he put a word out in the grapevine that he was after one and someone rang somebody and put him onto him and he said this bloke rung me and said I've got a roller but you'll have to pay me cash to hire it up front and he went well that's not a problem so he said I just paid him cash to rent it off him for a couple he said I've got six weeks I'm going to use it in um, Stafford or something uh six weeks job I need it for and that I gave him six weeks cash higher. I said they could at least put him in some handcuffs, take him down the station and make him sweat, you know? It's been so busy. I mean we've we've there was two two bits of plants stolen yesterday, uh day before yesterday when yours was gone, another two, a, a Komatsu and uh a, a Takuchi two thirty and hidden in the woods. We've had uh two Range Rovers stolen and uh, basically there wasn't in a shipping container, it was just at the back of that yard. But in talking to the customer, they really did bury that tracker deep within the roller. So with all that steel work, uh, there was no actual access to reach the sky to get a GPS signal. But we also had quite a low signal at that location as well. Um, the tracker was in and out. It's, a, it's an eight, eight year old tracking system, but um, it still, still did the job. Always makes them track, pedestrian roller, South Wales, 26 hour recovery operation, cracking. Mm -hmm.